to my channel. Um, we're gonna be doing a how-to on a 2006 Toyota Sienna LE. We're gonna replace, come on, follow, follow me, follow me now. We're gonna replace, we're gonna replace the CV axles for the driver's side and the passenger side, and we're doing the brakes. We got the uh, parts from O'Reilly's. Twenty-two millimeter. Let me get these sizes together before we record again. I'm already recording. The tires off. Oh, the CV axle. Let me see. You good? It's busted. All the grease is out. It's about. So we about to replace those. So let's get it. Take out this brake caliber because I was gonna put brakes on here, but I don't know. Like it's still kind of good. What size are they? Oh, they size 14 millimeters. Look at that. Yeah. So they still kind of thick. Still catch? Oh, yeah, they still. They still thick. Yeah. I might put some grease on them. <laughs> Axle bolt off right here, and this is a 30 millimeter, and you gotta have the um 12, point. 12 points in there. I don't know if it's actually 12 in there. Right? How to? Yeah, that's how to. Yeah, that's how to. Get her done. All right. Now, hold on. Gotta take these two strut bolts off here so we can pull it down. And I need to take off that. Um, first, take off that. Tyro. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see the complication. How y'all guys doing? I might have to. Tim Allen. Uh, this is a size uh, 22 millimeter. Oh my God, hold that back. Yeah, What's that the rank? A 7, 8. 21 in millimeters. Alright, y'all, we'll pull these bolts out, guys. Let me up a little bit. Okay, now we gotta release the bearing of this axle from this bracket, which is, I think this is a 13 or 14 bolt that locks the axle, and you also got a pin right here. As you can see, right here, I'm pointing at it, right there. So, let's unpin it and get to it. What I'm doing is, get my light just right up on you. What we're doing is we get the channel locks and we are gonna compress this clip in. So I got the camera with one and my other hand. Okay, we got the lock off. As you can see, it's dangling. Maybe you got your gloves on? Yeah. Dangling that lock. Y'all see it right here? There you go. We got the lock off right there. Drain pan right here. We about to get ready to pull this axe out. My wife, she gonna, she gonna be the puller. She's gonna be the puller of the axle. So, anytime you're ready, darling. No, you ain't got to tap it. It already started coming out when you picked it up. Give her a second, you guys. Mama got sliders a little bit. Yeah, she, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look a little dirty. We changed it. She pulling her on up out of here. There you go. I gotta get up. Here it is, you guys. And we are leaking fluids, so we're gonna. We're gonna reuse it though. 
This is the brand new one here. Get it right here. The side is on the top. I want to get it from the part that I uh, put the hole in it. Alright, well, yeah, well, I wouldn't even pay attention. Most likely, you're going to have to reuse your key, your, your uh, lock key. Yeah, the one that locked the one that, locked that we were wiggling early in the video. Right here. Let me show you. You're going to pop it back down on there. Right yeah, it's right there. Put it here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do, we're going to reuse it. Yeah. And that one is... It's ghosty. How the other one? Stiffy. Mm -hmm. You're taking road trippies. I see that game. It ain't even the one with the 12 points. A different nut. Uh, see, see it. We were just telling y'all in the beginning about that 12 point. But if you ain't never replaced the axle on this, yeah. it's going to be a 12 point. And let somebody replace it before you. But we're about to install it. So I'm about to grease this this race in this barrel right here. We did grease it though when we put the axle back in. When we put the motor in. What's the temp rating on this one? You said 495. That'll keep a slide. Keep us greased up, ready to go. I have to put the light down to guide you. Let me know. All right, push it. Okay, we got it back in. The, we got the racing, the bearing in his race. We got the flush back in. She's about to put the axle yeah. back in the spin. Yeah, but I gotta take this boat out. So let's do it. Tighten back up, she guys. First in the step. What she's doing is she's putting the bolts back in the caliber. Start up with the light quality. And I'm gonna just slow these back with a uh, ratchet, guys. Yeah, and then I did put some grease on here. On the bottom of the brake pads. No squealing. Get you some brake squealing. Gotta take care of it. Uh, is a size 32. Then you have to tighten up this CV axle. No axle. And we will tighten it some more when we get it on the ground. Yeah, with the pull bar. This side is complete. We got. We're gonna lock it in up under here. Gonna lock me in the front there. So we're done with this side, put the top back on. The drivers out here, and we take in the two strut bolts out. What you want to do is you want to get your breaker bar, and you go down. And if you put it on this side, you go up. But on, we're taking the nut off, so we're gonna go down with it. Um, we couldn't break them first and then come back on to show y'all like the passenger side, but hey. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tim Allen. Okay. Yeah. Like we can talk to me dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See that y'all? It was sealed in there. Both of them was. Don't play with daddy. <clears throat> Move your clip on your wires. To, to ABS, um, yeah. Sometimes you gotta lift up on it. Take your boat, rock it, come right out. Now the bottom one, just pop out, you know. You have most of your, your pressure on the top boat. Okay. Now what we do is we push the axle in, cock it to the side. Take that, watch your ABS. 
make sure the ABS is good. And what you want to do is, while you got it out, take your wire. I mean, not a wire, but a, you use a screwdriver. You're going to use a screwdriver. But you got the place. So now what I'm about to do is, right there. So you can see right here. You can see it right there. Grab the pan, you guys. We waiting on you, boss. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. Sometimes you don't have a good angle, so you have to make your angle in there. All right. I'm gonna use my flathead pry bar. As you can see, I'm gonna bring it to the light right here. I'm gonna use my flathead pry bar. I'm trying to get up under this base and do a one shot hit. Got it? Okay. What I did was I took the flat shot bar here. As you can see me coming in through the cut. Hello, hey there. Um, I took this, turned it in here, popped it. I pulled on it, uh, snatched her up out of there. So what we're doing is pulling it out just like that. She's done. She's done for. There you go. My wife was hearing noise. You can't do that. Okay, what we're doing now, we got the new axle. We put a little grease on it, on that center key. Like they said, I don't know why I use, I just pop it in there, but uh, we're gonna do what they say. And we're gonna center it, and we're gonna slide it in there and pop it in there. So yeah. Okay, we got the axle in. Flushed in to the transmission, as y'all can see. And we're gonna put it in the spindle. And we're gonna, we gonna reverse everything that we did to take it off. Sleep, y'all. Over here, because of the calibers, we had to grease these pins right here so they can slide. That was still kind of a little stiff compared to this bottom one. You see that? That one slide much freely. But. And also, it is a 32, not a 30. You change the axle. I don't know how it is in you state, you guys state, but it's a 30 here with the 12 point and a 32 with the replacement. I love that gun, you guys. Y'all should seen that. Y'all should seen her. Y'all should seen her cheeks drop. Let's go ahead and set up. This is a 12. This for this the uh, caliber brake line. Caliber brake line and ABS sensor. Yeah. That's it. I, no, I gotta tighten up these caliber um, screws. They 14s. I really want to do them with a ratchet, but hit it again. No, no, no. Hit it again. <laughs> All right. Oh, we mm. slow those. Okay, that's it. Let's put the tire on. Tighten up to see you. That's all right. Turn the whole tire. Um, clear, buddy. Lock it here. Hit that down there. So that's so the bolt won't, the, the nut won't back back out. So we should go to grease. Right your head. We just lock it. Yeah. Get closer. See. She won't turn. You can bet your dollar on that. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the video. Somebody like, su subscribe, and comment. Let me know what else y'all want to see us do. Okay.